I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Tuesday, the 6th of August. A very moist environment in place. That means we'll deal with a few passing showers and storms from time to time all the way through Friday and probably the weekend as well. Uh, let's look at some of the sky cam shots around the network early this morning. Uh, this uh, is a look at downtown Fayette. Pretty quiet there. Here's the Inverness Sky Cam from the Wingate Inn overlooking Highway 280. And downtown Haleyville, pretty dark now. You know, we're way past the uh, summer solstice. That was way back uh, around June 22nd. So uh, the nights are getting a bit longer. Day's getting a bit shorter. Uh, heat bubble is over Texas this morning. The westerlies, of course, north of there. And on the northern periphery of the heat bubble, you can see these uh, big thunderstorm masses. The MCS of the morning is over parts of uh, uh, Kansas and Missouri. In fact, that's a look at the Springfield radar. It's just pouring uh, through parts of Missouri this morning. Big storms, flash flood warnings in effect there, those uh, green polygons. Here's a peek at our radar. This was captured at 5.01. We had some showers and storms developing just north of Birmingham, uh, Cullman, Morgan, Limestone counties. And in this kind of environment, it could rain at any hour of the day. It doesn't have to be afternoon or evening. Most of the storms should be during that time, but we certainly could see some late night or morning storms like that. Uh, heat problems west of the state, heat advisories, the counties in orange, parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, even the, around the Mississippi Delta. But around here, temperatures will likely stay below average. We'll take that. The highs, I think, will be between 87 and 90 on most days. And here we are on August the 6th, and we failed to reach 90 for the first five days of the month. And I don't think we reach it again today. Severe weather possibilities today across the nation's midsection. Tomorrow, a couple of slight risks north and west of here. Here's the rain for the next five days. This goes through Sunday morning. Bigger numbers north of us, uh, 4.3 inches, the bullseye on the Ohio River. And around here, uh, look, one storm can drop one inch of rain easily in this kind of uh, air mass. The precipitable water values are 1.5 to 2 inches. So clearly some spots will see more than that, but on a smooth average basis, Rain amounts of about one inch over the next five days. Tropical weather, hey, it's quiet. Just a lot of dry air across the Atlantic Basin, that old dust coming off the African deserts. So no tropical storm formation through midweek. Here's the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid uh, today at 1 o'clock local time at 500 millibars. Upper high is centered around the Sabine River, the Sabine Pass, uh, Texas-Louisiana border. The westerlies north of there and down below that will have some rain at times today. Let's look at the old high-res NAM. This is valid this evening at 6 o'clock. It's showing a big thunderstorm mass over about the northern third of the state. And clearly, uh, this week, the, the better coverage of the rain will be across the northern counties of the state. Down south, they, they could see a storm or two, but they should be more widely spaced. Tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, another mass of storms coming through. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Thunderstorms around, and here's Thursday at 1 o'clock. So, and understand the, the radar is not going to look like that. The models, even these high res models, struggle with summer convection. We all do. I can't tell you exactly when and where it's going to rain. When's it going to start? When's it going to stop? It's very frustrating for all of us, but just be aware there could be a shower or a storm at any time for the next few days. Here's Friday, pretty much the same deal. And again, the. Uh, the GFS numbers are laughable. They've been you know, way up in the mid-90s, and we haven't been close to that. We'll be mostly in the upper 80s. Uh, here's a look at Saturday as we start the weekend. Higher heights off in the Atlantic. 594 ring is uh, east of Jacksonville. And uh, down below that, same deal, moist. Now, the sun will be out at times, but we'll have scattered showers and storms. Same thing Sunday and Monday. You know, there was evidence the GFS yesterday tried to bring some drier air down into northeast Alabama. Well, that idea is obviously off the board with that look. Um, here's Tuesday, a week from today. Uh, the heat bubbles are south of here, down around uh, New Orleans and one over New Mexico, and the same deal. Scattered showers and storms, highs between 87 and 90. It's basically a broad brush forecast for the next seven days. We'll check the end of the forecast, August 21st. Hey, we're getting close to meteorological fall. Do I dare say that word? Just sounds nice saying that. It's my favorite season. Uh, upper highs back over the four corners in the southwest. Uh, again, 
scattered showers and storms around here with no sign of any excessively hot weather which is good, at least for me. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. You can catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.